moments ago, it was announced that a world-leading stem cell treatment is coming to Canada, and it could help the estimated 3,000 people in this country living with the disease. Jeffrey Perot is one of those patients just three years ago. At 32 years old, he was diagnosed with ALS. Ever since, he's been fighting to bring experimental and untested treatments to Canada. Jeffrey joins us now from London, Ontario. Jeffrey, what is your reaction to hearing that this stem cell trial is coming to Canada? Simple. This is the brightest, most exciting day uh, for an ALS patient uh, in living in Canada, by far. Well, tell us about the trial. What, what, what can it potentially do for people with this disease? So brainstorm uh, cell therapeutics, uh, the neuron uh, is one of the leading stem cell therapeutic uh, uh, in the world at this point. It's currently going into a phase three trial in the United States in three different sites. It's proven to have extremely positive results. Uh, it's proven to be extremely safe. And uh, Health Canada has uh, recognized uh, and acknowledged uh, the need to do something to provide treatment for ALS patients living in Canada. And that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they've done. Jeffrey, you seem like a, an informed patient. You seem like you have knowledge about all these things. But do you have any hesitations? A hesitation for, for this particular yep. uh, promising treatment? Uh, no, my, my situation is, uh, is very simple. Uh, I'm, I'm scheduled to, uh, to pass away in, uh, in a couple months. So uh, for me, this is extremely promising data, extremely promising science, and uh, I could not be uh, any more excited for, for this to be coming to Canada. So no, I, I don't hold much reservation in terms of being uh, fearful to, uh, to get a life-saving uh, treatment. Uh, this is fantastic. Jeffrey, uh, every ALS patient has a clock that's ticking in them. Why, is, why does it take so long for these trials, and this trial in particular, to come to Canada, if it is so promising? Right. I think uh, we, um, over the last several years, I've been diagnosed, it's almost been three years, and uh, what we notice is that there was a lack of collaborative effort uh, to facilitate uh, meetings with some of the most promising manufacturers uh, in stem cell technologies uh, around the world, and then to uh, to to harness those relationships and uh, and and then bring it into Canada. So over the last uh, five or six months alone, we've met with Justin Trudeau and uh, Jean Philpot and the, the representative at, uh, at Health Canada, and uh, they've pledged to to want to help us. Uh, we've brought forth a. Um, uh, an act for consideration, the right to try, and uh, within with that submission, uh, we've definitely uh, got the awareness that uh, the ALS patients needed, and also other terminally ill patients uh, needed. Uh, so there's no doubt in my mind that our uh, our government, in particular, uh, uh, our Honorable Jean Philpot, and uh, I like to uh, mention my uh, my member of Parliament, Mark Serre from Nickelbelt, for their tremendous uh, help and support driving this forward and helping connect all the right individuals to bring what is the world-leading stem cell therapy to Canada uh, for treatment for uh, for Canadian patients. All right, Jeffrey, you're, you're a heck of an advocate for this. If there's anybody watching, you know, we're talking about connecting, let's continue with that. If there's anybody watching who's been touched by ALS or knows somebody with ALS, how can they begin getting access to this treatment once it becomes available? Best thing to do is starting today is start contacting your neurologist, your treating neurologist, and uh, I'm sure Health Canada is going to make a communication out to all physicians treating ALS patients and provide them with further uh, guidelines as to how to anticipate and how to uh, look forward on being involved in this trial. So uh, an immediate action would definitely to be reaching out to uh, your neurologist, also reaching out to your member of parliament. I'm sure they'll be uh, getting further information with regards to this cause. And then lastly is check up on our website where we have all the information regarding this uh, uh, this particular treatment at alscanuck.org. And also there is a place where you can uh, submit your information so you can keep into uh, the latest information and developments of this story. Jeffrey Perot, ALS patient and co-founder of the Adaptive Canuck ALS Foundation. It's wonderful news today. We here at Your Morning are wishing you nothing but good luck and the best in the future. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Ben. Thank you very much.